Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm gonna be talking about world aligned textures and how you can easily set them up in a couple of minutes. What are world aligned textures you may ask? And uh, I'm gonna show you since right now we have regular textures which are not world aligned and if I now scale this you will see that the texture just stretches with the object. And we don't want that. We want the texture that is aligned to the world, meaning it follows a uniform tiling grid over the entire project. And uh, if you're building basically any structure from scratch in Unreal Engine 5, then this tutorial will be very important for you because uh, it will save you a lot of time, it will save you a lot of headaches when it comes to the tiling and stuff. So uh, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So creating a world aligned texture is actually extremely easy and it's a lot easier than most people think. Um, you can do this with normal textures and you can also do this with uh, Megascans textures. Um, but if you're gonna use Megascans, uh, you're not gonna use the material they pre-made, but uh, you're gonna make a new material, uh, which is what I'm gonna do right now. And we're gonna call it uh, brick underscore w a which stands for world aligned save that go into that material and uh, first of all we're gonna uh, drag our textures in here so instead of just taking the rgb and plugging it straight into base color we're gonna add a step in between just right click and search for world aligned and you're gonna go to texture uh, so you have world aligned texture, you plug in the RGB and you will see it doesn't work because this is a texture sample and it basically acts as a flow 3. But we need a texture 2D, so we need a texture object. So we're just gonna right click on texture sample and hit convert to texture object. So now we've got that, we can just plug it in, no problem, we go to XYZ because we want it to be aligned on the X axis, the Y axis and the Z axis. Um, so we're just gonna put that into base color and you can see we've got a little preview. Uh, but this texture is not tiled properly, so we're gonna add a scalar parameter and we're gonna call it tiling. And from my experience, uh, something between uh, 250 and 300 is a good value for your tiling. Uh, I'm just gonna put 270. And uh, then we can just plug this into texture size, which is basically our tiling controller. And as you can see, this already looks a lot more to scale. The tiling fits a lot better. All right, so now we're done with the base color. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the normal texture and we're gonna once again convert it to a texture object. Then we're gonna look for world aligned once again and we're gonna choose world aligned normal. So once again, you plug this in here, you would choose XYZ texture, plug it into normal and you can see there is definitely something going on but it doesn't really look right because we haven't applied the tiling scale to uh, the world aligned normal node. So we're gonna do that real quick and we will see now it adds up and now it looks realistic. So with base color and normal done, this only leaves us with uh, our one final texture in this case. Normally this would be several textures, um, but Megascans assets are using what is called ARD textures. So it's basically um, ambient occlusion, roughness and depth all in the same uh, texture because each of these masks is normally black and white so you can just uh, put them into one color channel. For example in this case R is um, uh, ambient occlusion, G is roughness and B is depth. But just like we did with uh, uh, normals and the uh, base color we have to align this to the world so once again we're gonna search for world aligned and this time we are gonna use world aligned texture separate channels so now we have every single channel here so we're gonna again convert this to a texture object plug this in here we can already go ahead and plug the tiling in as well so we don't have to do that later on uh, then we 
take the R channel, put it to ambient occlusion, the G channel, put it to roughness, and the B channel and put that to pixel depth offset. And now we are basically done with our material. We're just gonna save all of this and we're gonna go ahead and apply this material to these uh, wonderful cubes right here. So we're just gonna look for brick. There it is. Apply it and you can see, bam, no more stretching, just tiling, just like we wanted. So let's do this for the other one as well. We're gonna look again for brick, where the light and bam. As you can see, if I move this, the texture will always have the same position. So that's very useful since uh, the wall will just uh, blend very nicely. And also if I rescale this, you will see the texture will always have the same tiling. No awkward stretching or stuff like that, all thanks to world align textures. Alright, so first of all, I gotta apologize for my recent inactivity the last few months. Um, I've been really busy with uh, work, university and some other projects I've been working on. One of these projects you can actually see uh, right now in the background. Uh, it's a little racing game I had to hand in for university. I think it turned out pretty nice. Uh, I learned a lot of stuff doing it and uh, I'm probably gonna put a lot of that into future tutorials. Um, so if you don't want to miss out on that, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And uh, as always, if you liked the video and if it helped you, uh, I would really appreciate you showing me with a like. And uh, until then, I see you in the next one. Bye bye.